Hello Cancer, how you doing? I hope you're really well. My name is Diane and we are going to do a love reading for June slash July. But, uh, you know, it is a timeless reading. So whenever this happens to pop up in your feed is when you were meant to see it. Um, you're very, very welcome here. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate it so much. And if you feel like liking and subscribing for me, you know, I would appreciate that so much as well. Just breaking in this deck of cards, so bear with me. Okay, so let's see who is coming towards you, Cancer. Who is coming towards Cancer? Okay, you have the Justice card, so it could be a Libra. Um, could be someone that like works for the courts or the justice system. It could also be someone who's going through a divorce or someone who's going through a, like a separation from a long-term partner or something like that. Um, okay, let's see. You have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is someone you've been waiting for for a while. Kind of looks like also maybe it's taken this while this person a while to make a decision about something. They might be waiting for a decision. You might be dealing with someone who's waiting for a decision about something to do with like the courts. Okay, what else please? You have the Page of Swords, could be an Aquarius. Yeah, it's like delayed news. This person might have been waiting for something or you might be waiting for them to make a decision. What else can you give the Six of Cups? It usually means you know them in some capacity. So like it could be a soulmate from a past life or you know you could have met them already in this life. You have the Wheel of Fortune here with the Ten of Swords. Okay, let's do some clarifying. Clarify the Justice card, please. Clarify the Justice card, please. What have we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This this keeps coming up in your readings a lot. And I just saw the Hierophant there as well. And I see the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. So, apologies for those of you that this doesn't resonate with. But, you know, I can only read what's there, right? I can't make up readings. <laughs> so um, you have the Justice card with the Three of Cups. So it, you know, and with the Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles, it looks like you're dealing with someone here who's either they were in a connection when you met them or they're going th through a divorce right now. You know, when you met them, they were like in the process of leaving someone or they just left someone or something because you have the justice card with the three of cups here so it it kind of you know they could be married or they could be in a, a very long-term connection that they're waiting to sort of um separate from you also have another decision card here you have the lovers you could be dealing with a gemini or a taurus or a libra heavy libra but it's like they're waiting to be single or you're waiting for them to make the decision to leave someone. And it's a fairly huge decision is the thing. All right, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you have the Sun. Yeah, you're waiting on this, you've been waiting for this person to make a decision. Or like I said, they've been waiting to receive a decision. So it could be, you know, they're, when you met them, they were in the process of a divorce and they're waiting for it to come through or something like this. And you have the chariot here as well. You could be dealing with another cancer. Let's just get a bit more. Clarify the page of swords. Please clarify the page of swords. Oh yeah, they're leaving something behind. Page of Swords with the Seven of Swords. This person's leaving something behind. Um, wherever they were has been not fun, okay? With the Seven of Swords. Uh, 
The Seven of Swords, especially with the Justice card, you know, it's some kind of karmic connection, some kind of karmic situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner, but it's some kind of third party situation with like some legal... It doesn't have to be legal, but you know, say they were in a, I don't know, say they were in a long term connection and they owned property with the person you know, and they're waiting for that to be sorted out or something, or it could not, doesn't have to be related to romance, maybe they're just involved in some kind of decision relating to the courts or something, they're waiting for a decision to be made, but whatever it was, it was, it was a karmic lesson for this person. Now they've, they've learned what they needed to learn from this person and they're leaving. And there's you. Queen of Cups and the Strength card, you give this person strength. You could be dealing with a Leo or maybe you've got a Leo in your chart, um, but you give this person a lot of strength. So kind of looking like you already know this person, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> for a lot of you. you, maybe you don't know them. Maybe it's a soulmate that you've yet to meet and this is what this person is currently going through. You know, you have the star at the bottom of the deck here as well. This is a past life connection. Clarify the, okay, six of cups clarified by the nine of swords and the ace of swords. So there's some, someone's very anxious. Someone's losing sleep here. They really want to come in and offer you this cup of love. See, you have it twice. Um... So you have the cup here, right, in the Six of Cups, and then you have it again in the Ace of Cups. So this is, I, I, I see the Six of Cups as like someone coming in to give you everything, you know. It's someone who's, it's a very genuine card, the Six of Cups. It's like, because you know it's easy to get all like, you know, caught up in like, oh, romance and like, you know, romantic movies and all this kind of stuff, but that's not day-to-day -day life. Day-to-day -day life is like, you know, making small decisions and making moves to be with someone that you love, right? And like doing things that's gonna make that person happy on a daily basis. And I feel like this is what they feel like with you. It's like real with you. Maybe it wasn't very real where they were before, but there's some kind of anxiety here about it, which I'm gonna clarify. Maybe they're worried that you won't accept it, but this person's coming in for a new beginning with the Fool. Like they're coming in, oh, Ten of Cup, um, Ten of Pentacles has just wanted to come out. I'm gonna take the Fool as well. So they're coming in to offer you this cup of love and they're coming in to offer you commitment. Like this person is looking for commitment with you. And it's serious as well with the Ten of Pentacles. Like you're dealing with someone very solid. Like this is someone that's going to want to live with you, someone that's going to want to set up a home with you, marry you, you know, whatever the case may be. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. So you have the Wheel of Fortune with the High Priestess. There's been something about divine timing here and having to patiently wait. I feel like you've waited for this person for a long time. And I feel like you maybe with the High Priestess had no idea what was going on this whole time. Okay. Um, and you have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Three of Wands. So this person is ready. You know, they have to end this connection or this karmic situation, whatever it is. They have to end it and then they'll be ready to move forward with you. But I feel like it's, I don't know. This could also be maybe there was a, I don't know, there's, but there's some kind of ending here. I'm going to clarify that. And then they're like the three of wands is being ready to, to leave. I feel like it's a difficult ending on their side. They've had some kind of difficult ending. There's been like a divorce or like I said, a separation that was unpleasant. You're their sunshine though. Because there you are, there's your card and you have the sun. So this person's been waiting. They've been waiting like for this decision to come through. Or they've been waiting for the right time. And you're their sunshine, like you're kind of what makes them happy. 
they're putting that Dido song in my head. You know, I don't know what it's called, but it's the one Eminem uses in the introduction of one of his songs, Stan, I think. And it talks about, um, you know, she's kind of depressed, like her tea's going cold and stuff. And then she sees the picture of someone she loves on the wall and she's like, oh, it reminds me it's not so bad. So I feel like you're this person's like happiness, you're this person's sunshine in whatever this difficult situation is. King of Pentacles here, um, God, they're really serious. They're very serious about you. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. There's Virgo here twice. They, they're very like grown up. <laughs> you know, it's a very stable, very responsible, you know, it's the kind, the King of Pentacles is the kind of person who ends up taking care of lots of different people, like even in their own family, you know, with their mum and dad and brothers and sisters, they're maybe like the more, the one that ends up doing things for people or something like this, because the King of Pentacles is very responsible, very stable, they probably got a decent amount of money behind them, you know, decent job, they maybe own property, they could be an entrepreneur, but maybe dealing with a more of a strong silent type energy here. I feel there's this desire to kind of protect you as well, the way that this king has come out next to the queen. They do kind of put you up on a pedestal a little bit. Exalted, they kind of exalt you is a little bit what I heard, which is, that's a fair word. Uh, you have the three of pentacles here. So they're really, they're really looking to come in and start something very solid with you. Ace of Pentacles here as well. There's going to be an offer. And it's going to lead to something very stable. I have a feeling with this person, they maybe wanted to sort everything out before. Like, if it is a divorce or something, you know, they wanted it to be like clear before they came to you with this offer. Especially because you do have the Hermit here. Like, if you're dealing with Virgo type energy, they'll be very like that. Clarify this Nine of Swords. I feel like this is them. This Nine of Swords, like, they're kind of worried that it's ended with you. Sorry about the glare. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. They're kind of worried it's over with you because I feel like they haven't told you anything with this High Priestess here and the Wheel of Fortune because I feel like this was all about divine timing. This person had lessons to learn but you'll also have had lessons to learn, right? In the interim when, when this person's been away, you'll have had lessons to learn. But I feel like they didn't tell you anything. Like High Priestess is kind of mystery. It was for some reason it was important for you both not to rush into this. Like that's very much High Priestess energy. Uh, like things taking time and not just rushing off and, and doing things but you know waiting for the right time but I feel like they've, they've kind of yeah they're definitely going to come in and offer you this love here it's very genuine and they really really want this new beginning with you like they're looking for a commitment here I think they're just a, they're a little worried that they've left it too late with you basically and maybe you've moved on yeah, they're kind of worried that you, you're not going to hear them out, you know, with the two swords here. That you're just going to be like, nah, sorry. Nah. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck. They're worried that you've moved on, I think. Yeah, okay, so you have the ten of swords clarified by this eight of swords. So this this ending was what was holding them back, okay? This is why nothing's moved. It's because they had to end this other connection or this karmic situation, whatever it was, and it was making them feel stuck, which is fair enough, you know? Even, I don't feel like it was a very happy energy because this Five of Swords is still here at the bottom of the deck. Um, you know, and you have the Seven of Swords here as well. Seven of Swords is never really good. You know, you're never leaving anything good behind when you're when you're in the Seven of Swords energy. It's very much this kind of Five of Swords energy, like, you know, maybe this person was the giver all the time and the other person was the taker. Maybe there was like a manipulation or a narcissist thing involved here. 
one person was just very selfish but there was something that was keeping this person like the the situation was keeping them stuck you know but i think it's probably because your person you know they're a nice person they didn't want to end this you know they probably stayed out of guilt this kind of thing because they seem very responsible to me with that king of pentacles energy kind of tough you know like i'll just stick this out you know this is what i chose so i'm gonna stick with it you know even though it's like making me miserable but with the three of wands here you know they've moved on from this like they're ready now to come in and like have this they're they're so ready to come in and have this new beginning with you i mean this is tarot so i don't know if this is happening now or if it's already happened or if it's going to happen in a week or a month i don't know but the cards are saying it is happening okay it's just a, a question of timing so what would this person say to cancer I feel like I just dropped that one. I'm going to reshuffle and I'm just going to move you guys out of the way a little minute. Okay, so what would this person say to Cancer if they could surrender? Oh my god. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So they're having to go through this divorce or this separation you know, division of the assets, whatever, making the decision to leave it behind before they could have something new with you, right? This is often the energy of the King of Pentacles as well. They can be kind of stubborn, you know. Um, it's earth energy. They like things a certain way. You know, they like their routine. They like to know what they're coming home to. They're not really in for the drama, you know. Um, so... You know, even though they were unhappy in the relationship, you know, maybe they had just got into this routine and they had just kind of accepted it until they met you and then it was kind of like, oh, no, okay, like I have to leave now because <laughs> I want to be with cancer, so I have to do something. But it's kind of tough, I think, for earth signs like to, you know, because you're water, like it's maybe not as, like I'm an air sign, so it's maybe tougher for us to relate to, but... You know, people are what they are, right? So it's maybe just been tough for this person to let go even though they weren't that happy. Yeah, you may not, see, that's kind of just what I was talking about. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. See, I feel like this person it's almost like what they had with you was kind of foreign because they had maybe just got themselves into this situation. They may not be an earth sign, but they may have earth in their chart that you don't know about, or they're just presenting as this type of energy. Like, you know, they were maybe kind of not, like I said, not happy, but they were in a routine. It was familiar. And then you came along and all of a sudden things just couldn't stay the same because they it was almost like they didn't realize they were unhappy until they met you and then it's like once you you know once you've seen it you can't unsee it right so you know for a while they may have kind of fought this and been like no like I have responsibilities I have to stay or like leaving this person would be such a pain you know we have a house together like we own property or like it would completely uproot my life you know and like I said, if they're an earth sign, they're, they're really not going to like that. <laughs> um, so I, f I feel like they, they may be going through this right now where there's like a bit of turmoil, you know, because they've had to end the situation or they know they're going to have to end it to be with you. But you're like their blessing, you know, it's like, OK, so this relationship was bad that I've been in and it sucked excuse me, but, you know, once I've dealt with all of this, then I get to have my blessing, right? So for a while as well, they may not have understood what was going on because with the Six of Cups and that star coming out earlier, it usually means it's a past life connection. And the thing is, people always say in the comments like, oh, you always say it's like a past life, but that's the thing. If you're here watching a tarot reading, the chances are you're dealing with some kind of situation that's kind of special in some way. Like, you know, not everybody, not everybody marries their soulmate, right? Not everybody ends up with their soulmate, but a lot of people that are more inclined to question reality do, 
right? So a lot of people, you will be dealing with a soulmate, you know? Um, but you may be dealing with someone who was like very, you know, king of pentacles, like very grounded. Maybe they didn't think about this kind of stuff before. Maybe they didn't care or they just never believed it. But then they met you and they were, they were like, well, hold on a minute here. There's something special going on. They may not call it soulmate. They may never call it that, you know, if you're dealing with someone very grounded, but they know, they know they're, they're, they want you enough to uproot their whole life to be with you, right? So deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. Okay, so you may not have heard from this person for a long time. Uh, they may not have contacted you. I feel like there's a, maybe a bit of a ghosting thing going on here. But spirit, well, they're saying, to, your person is saying to you, like, look deep in your heart. You already know I'm in love with you. You know what? Listen to your intuition here. Like, there's divine timing going on. You know I'm coming back. Listen to your intuition, right? If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. I'm just going to take that one. Um, so there was a bit of a heart, head over heart thing going on here with this person, which I'm not surprised because they're coming through as a very grounded, practical, stable energy. Um, if they could have done anything and listened to their heart, you know, they would be with you. But there was this ending that needed to happen first that was keeping them stuck, right? But I feel like now it's like heart is winning over head. You know, maybe before head was winning over heart. Like I said, because they may not have, you know, a lot of people don't believe in soulmates and all this kind of thing. Maybe your person didn't and it took them a while because they, you know, they were maybe hoping it was going to go away, <laughs> you know, like they could just forget about you and stuff. But look, you know, obviously that didn't happen. Uh, what else would this person say to Cancer? Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Uh, I feel like I'm going to put that there. So... Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So I feel like they maybe, they were in a connection with someone. There was something that needed to be reflected back to your person. They had some kind of lesson to learn. They could have been dealing with a twin flame or something like that in their past. I'm not saying you are, I'm saying like this person that they left could have been a twin flame for some of you, but there's maybe something like that here, like that was part of their lesson. And let's get one more. And also I wanna say, there's a lot of qualities that they admire about you. I feel like this person kind of puts you up on a pedestal a little bit here. Um, Remember I said that earlier, I feel like I said it, because the Queen of Cups is like up here, it's like you're exalted, and then they're down here. Because maybe you're the least practical of the two of you, I mean, you are water, right? I'm air, I console with you completely, I'm very impractical myself. But, um, and even if they're not an earth sign, that's how they're presenting, okay? So, it's like they kind of put you up a little bit up on a pedestal here. And I think it took them a little bit of time to kind of realize that they could be on your level. Aries had a similar, apologies Cancer, my camera cut out. So maybe you've got some Aries in your chart too. But um, yeah, I think it took them a while to realize that they didn't have to kind of put you up on the pedestal that much, right? Because not, I mean, you don't really want them doing that, right? Because then it's like you're unattainable, you know? it's like you're a celebrity or something, like it would be difficult to have a relationship with a celebrity, right? Because you're always gonna be like, oh my God, like what, what are they gonna think of me? You know, but let's just get one more. Oh, twin flames, your passion ignites. 
That's so weird that I was just talking about. They may have been with a twin flame in their pa in the past. That may have been the lesson that they were learning. Um, they're feeling very passionate about you though. Very, very passionate. You guys could be twin flames and you have embrace, which is a very twin flamey kind of card. Through each other, you, you find the missing pieces. So this person, like yeah, it's come out over the high priestess as well. Like the high priestess indicates it's actually more powerful than the Two of Cups. Like, it's like the Two of Cups, but on steroids. Like, it's almost like a telepathic connection between two people. It's very, very, you've had many lives together. You, your souls know each other very, very well. You know, there will have been, when you met, probably like an almost an instant recognition with this person. The, it was very easy to talk to them. You didn't feel like you had to impress them really. Um, or, you know, maybe when you're away from the person, you're kind of worrying about what they think. But actually, when you're with them, it's very easy. Because when you're away from them, the ego kind of takes over, right? But when you're with them, you're kind of relaxed. Um, but they feel... This person might think you are their twin flames, but I don't know about this one. It's either like they were dealing with a twin flame in the past or either way, without labeling it, like they're, they feel like you're the yin to their yang, basically. They feel like they found the person who makes them whole. Do you know what I mean? Especially if you are kind of different like that, like if they're very earthy and you're kind of watery, um, you know, there's that like what, like they'll be very stable and you're maybe a bit more sensitive or dreamy and like vice versa. It's like you balance each other out. Do you know what I mean? So this person feels like they found their missing piece with you. Um, and you have romance at the bottom of the deck, Cupid's arrow strikes. So there's a lot of passion here, uh, a lot of romance. They feel very romantic towards you. Especially, I would say this is a lot for the type of energy that's coming through. I feel like it's a lot for them to feel this way, to feel this romantic and like this soppy, because that's kind of what's coming through. Like maybe before they just got into a relationship because it was what they did. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Like get married or like, you know, move in with this person, even if maybe there wasn't much of a spark or whatever. With you, it's different. The spark is there. Like they feel like you're their soulmate. You know what I mean? They feel like they're meant to be with you. So definitely getting an offer coming in here at some point cancer but you know i don't know when so i hope this was a useful reading uh many many thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that cancer i'd appreciate it a lot many blessings love and light